Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to hop on here and do a quick little haul video for you guys and show you guys some of my recent purchases. It's going to be a combination of SLGs and handbags. Um, and I have two bags to show you guys. So um, yeah, if you're interested in this video today, do stay tuned. Okay. Also for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach Ads and Essay. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you like handbags and stuff, um, do consider subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Okay, so first there are two scarves I got. And these are kind of like the longer twilly scarves that you can like tie in your bags. Um, and they are the horse and carriage print. So I got this one here, which is like in a black and red combination. And it has a little heart with an arrow through it. And then um, this one here, which is in um, like brown. And it has um, the little planet Saturn throughout. And the cool thing is that on the ends of each of these scarves, they'll say coach right there. And then also on the opposite side too. And I'm not like a really big scarf person. I think I only have like one other one in my collection from Coach and it's like a light pink color. Um, but I thought these would be like really cute on bags and stuff. And you know, I think like the little heart motif is really cute. Like if you tie it and just have like a little bit like poking through, you know, be kind of cool. Or like this one, like the little planet. Um, and I have a field tote in this like horse and carriage print. So I thought it would match pretty well with it. So yeah, those are my first two items. Okay, so next is um, this pencil case right here, and this is in the color Vermilion, I believe, and it's just a um, standard, like, leather pencil case, and it is kind of cool because it is actually an all, like, glove tan leather, too, so even, like, the inside is lined, and it has a genuine glove tan leather stamp on this side right here, and even, like, a story patch, so I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and I did have, um, another pencil case. I think it's like a Michael Kors pencil case that if you watch my other videos, um, you guys would probably see that I use that like all the time. And I've had that for like years. So I just thought about like updating it a little bit and like replacing it with um, this one. And I kind of like it too, cause it is a little bit lighter weight and it's not as bulky as that one. Um, but you know, I love the pink color of the other pencil case, but this one's kind of cool too. And then the hardware on it is gunmetal as well. So yeah, that's that. Okay, so next is this little pouch right here. And this is the horse and carriage pouch, I believe. Um, and it is kind of cool because it has a little turn lock in the center right here. And it is fully lined on the inside too. So it has a burgundy microfiber um, underneath the flap and inside of the body of the bag like so. And it even has a little back zip pocket right here. And I don't have anything in the zip pocket. I just have um, the price tag and the care instructions to the bag on the inside. And then on the other side of the zip pocket, it just has um, little like slots right here that you can fit your items in. I want to say this is probably designed more as like a tech pouch or like an organizer. So like these aren't really like credit card slots. They're just more like little um, slip pockets that you can put smaller items in. And here's like the back of the little pouch itself. So it does have a slip pocket that goes the entire length of the pouch. And it is also lined in microfiber as well. Um, and this back pocket is actually big enough to fit my phone. And I do have an older iPhone. I have the iPhone XR, so it's like super old, but whatever, still works, right? Um, so I am able to fit that actually in here really comfortably. So if I did want to just use this as like a little clutch slash pouch, I could easily do that. Um, and yeah, it's just like super cute. The reason why I bought this bag too is I thought about um, turning this into a little crossbody bag because honestly, this is a really good size um, for like, you know, like a little crossbody clutch or something. So um, I've seen those kits on Amazon where you can like um, punch little holes right here and attach onto like a little metal D ring or something and add on like your own bag chain. So I thought about ordering on um, one of those kits and just um, adding little holes up top here and turning it this into a little crossbody bag. Um, I don't know if I want to do that yet because, you know, I have to permanently punch holes on top of this, but um, I feel like it might be a really cute idea and, you know, give it more versatility and since I can turn it into a crossbody bag. So yeah, there's that. 
So next are the handbags. And the first one I got is this one right here, which is the Swinger um, like shoulder bag in the color Taffy with the signature Jacquard material. And I got this bag because I actually have two other ones in my collection and I love them so much. So I thought I would go ahead and add this one into the mix for like spring, summer coming up. And I don't know, I think this was a pretty good purchase. Um, I've used this once or twice already like running errands and stuff. And I really like it because I don't know, I just think this pink color is super cute. And it's actually a pretty easy pink to style too. Um, it's not super bright, but it's also not like super bubble gum in my opinion. Um, it kind of like lands in that middle area of like lighter shades of pink. So yeah. Okay, so my phone died, so I have to talk about this again. Um, but like the details for the swinger bag is pretty much the same, just like any of the other styles. So you do have a little turn lock right here for a little zipper tab. And then on the inside it is just lined in the fabric material. And then you do have a crossbody strap as well. Um, I just have it stored in here. And then you have your story patch on the back of the bag like so. And then on the back of the bag, um, there is no pocket at all. It is just that signature jacquard material. And then on the front, you do have that varsity stripe detail with the leather panel on the front. And then on the bottom of this one, since it is that signature, signature jacquard material and not the gloves hand leather, it doesn't have the um, stamp down there. And then you also do have a little hang tag as well because this is a part of the Coach Originals collection. So it just has the... Um, coach leatherwear hang tag like so. I want to point out really fast is that they did add some quick little updates to the swinger bags. So for the original models as you can see um, they actually have a more raised turn lock like so and then underneath the zipper tab they will not have the 1941 stamp and the dog clip closures are a little bit shorter and this part is held by a rivet um, versus these is that the turn lock here is going to be more flat and then underneath that turn lock, it does have the 1941 stamp and the little like cowhide stamp um, on the back side of the turn lock zipper tab. And then on the sides too, you'll notice that the dog clip closure on these are probably um, a lot like, I would say like significantly longer in size, like double the length. And then you also have a larger leather tab holding it, um, holding the D-ring in place versus the little rivet. Um, but those are basically like all the little changes they did to the newer models. And I mean, they basically are the same bag. It's just like, oops, this one's upside down. Um, it's just that, you know, they have some little changes here and there, but overall pretty much the same bag. So the last item in this haul is going to be the pillow tabby in the color ivory. Um, I decided to just go ahead and get this bag after falling in love with um, the green pillow tabby behind me and using that one so much that I thought getting a neutral version of this bag would be really great for summer coming up and I feel like this would also work well in winter too um, later on in the year. This is just like any other pillow tabby bag. So as you can see, the front does not have a pocket and there is no pocket on the back. Um, you do get a removable shoulder strap and the gigantic hang tag as well. That honestly acts like a stress ball, thank goodness. And you also have a longer crossbody strap as well that is adjustable and removable. And on the inside of the bag, you just like um, open it with a little magnet here. And I still have my protective sticker on it. I don't know why I have not taken this off yet, but I will later after this video. And it is just lined in the cream, um, the same like, not cream, it's um, ivory, the same ivory leather on the inside. And I know that a lot of people um, hesitated buying this bag because I think on either like the Coach website or some other website, um, they have the inside of this like lining area right here as orange or that candied orange color and that was not correct um the inside of all like the cream or ivory colored pillow tabbies will be the same matching color as the exterior so if you were curious about that um the inside of this bag is not going to be orange um and i've checked um the ones in like the coach store and also the ones at department stores too so don't be afraid it's not orange it's going to be um the cream color on the inside of this bag and if you're curious about like the wear and tear on the pillow tabby here's just like a quick side by side of the two bags um so this one i've had for a total of one week with like essentially zero wear and then this one i've had for i want to say a month or like a month and a half now and as you can see side by side they essentially look um 
identical. They look brand new like this one, especially. Um, and on the back to um, wear, like, I feel like you'd get most of the wear because it's against your body, especially with like a very puffy handbag like this. Um, it looks pretty good overall. This one is not super deflated. Like, actually, I wouldn't say this is like deflated at all. Um, so like once like you don't use it, it just like springs back. So yeah, I don't know if I'm like explaining this well enough, but um, there's no like indentation back here from overall wear. So yeah, there's that. And I will say, if you are interested in a full-on review about the Pillow Tabby, I do have a review on that with, like, the green one that I just showed. And I also will do probably an updated wear and tear video, too, on some of my bags. Um, I've had some people ask me about the Ergo, um, the Pillow Tabby, and I think also um, the Swinger or Beat Bag, too. I just have to look back at my comments. Um, but yeah, I will do a updated video on the Pillow Tabby and those other bags, too, in a larger general video. That's it for today's video over um, my recent purchases. If you guys have any questions about the items, just leave a comment down below and I can try and message you back. Or you can also message me on Instagram too and I can reply back to you that way. Um, if um, you have any other also like handbag like review requests, um, you can also leave that down too because I don't know what other bags I want to review um, for this week. I know I have a request for the Troop shoulder bag the Hutton, and I think the Cassie as well. Um, but if you have any other, like, questions or, like, a review request, um, definitely leave that in the comments and I will do a video on that for you. Um, but other than that, guys, if you like this video enough, um, consider liking and subscribing and have a great rest of your day. Bye!